The caster wheel is subjected to the two couples. Determine the forces F that the bearings create on the shaft so that the resultant couple moment on the caster wheel is zero. Okay, so remember, couple moments are free vectors. This makes them relatively easy to work with compared to just regular moments or force vectors. So we've got this these connected members here. In this scenario, these, these connected members, this, this bearing, this link, this wheel, are just like a rigid body. The wheel can spin, but in this scenario, we're just looking at these as a, as, as a rigid body. And so a couple moments, you can just find the couple moment and sum them. With force vectors, for example, you, you, ha you can't just arbitrarily sum force vectors or sum moments. Force vectors, in general, have to meet at a point. Then you can sum them and put the resultant force at that point. Moments... It's the, the moments have to be about a common point. With couple moments, they're free vectors. So if we want to find the force F that results in a net couple moment of zero, so there's only two moments here that we're dealing with. The moment, the cup, there's only two couple moments. The, mo the couple moment from this 500 Newton couple pair and this F pair. Let's just do a vector sum of the couple moments. So. Here's the positive direction. So counterclockwise is the positive moment direction. So F, this, this, th these forces are separated by 40 millimeters. So we've got 0.04 F, and this is in the negative direction clockwise, plus in the positive direction, these 500 Newton force forces this force pair is separated by 50 millimeters so and this needs to be equal to zero so okay Six twenty-five, and that's the answer. If these forces are six hundred and twenty-five newtons, then the net couple moment from this couple and this couple is zero, and it's that simple. It's that easy. Couple moments are easy to work with.